Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a car model in Maya. First, uh, I'll create a new project folder, this car model, and use the default values. Then I'll just uh, import the images that I've selected. I'm going to create this beetle from Volkswagen. So that's it. And I'll just uh, reduce the size of the image from attribute editor. Sorry, the channel box. Even you can get this in the attribute editors also. So just make sure the size is okay. Now just to push it backwards from the center option of the image plane and save the project save the file okay now from the side view I'm going to create some curves you can use EP or CV whatever you want and we'll create the roof of the car which is also I mean side of the roof of the car and uh, we're going to adjust the vertices according to my outline or the blueprint and <clears throat> the process I'm going to use is uh, from create some uh, really basic uh, shape through curves of the car and then I'm going to fill it up just to make sure from the top view you just uh, have to readjust the vertex positions that's it fine and also to the, the backwards back side of the car okay fine just just make sure this is these are on the right fine now I'll just duplicate this and I'll just uh, make the scale on the negative axis so I'll just uh, make the mirror of that particular curve let's push it back fine now that's the uh, rooftop now by using the arc tool and also switch on the snap of the uh, snap curve option and I'll just snap the curve point for creating the arc you can uh, use hold C button to make it uh, interactively just uh, again make sure the vertex are on this, the right position we adjust it that's it fine now I have to make sure that the last vertices are on the curve so just hit C and check it whether it's within the curve or not okay fine that's it and it says the rooftop of the car Again, I'm using the arc tool, just repositioning from the side view. That's it. Fine. So that's how we can, uh, you know, gradually creating the cage of the car model. Fine. Fantastic. And also from the front part, I'll just again create. You can create uh, not uh, if you don't like the arc tool, you can use the uh, uh, normal EP curve or CV curve for creating this line because uh, they both produces the same, you know, output uh, which is a curve. So how you are going to creating this curve is not important, but make sure your curves have been really well placed according to the blueprint of the car that's it fantastic just readjust the front side now creating the base of the windshield which is connected with the hood general connected with the hood so that's it again adjust uh, the vertices from the side view We can make sure that the end of the curve will definitely uh, snap with the vertex. Just hold C and we have to adjust. And 
also this way. Fine. That's my front part. Okay, the basic uh, shape of the cars are coming out. So just a little bit adjustment. Okay. Now move on to the cover of the wheel. Create a circle and also duplicate this from the back side. Okay. Now go to the curve point from the component and I'll just cut the curve and make it half. Delete the half which I don't need. Right click, curve point, middle mouse, curve point, cut and it will dissect the curve. Now we'll have to uh, uh, create the adjustments, so the adjustments of the vertices. You can create this uh, curve from the arc tool also or you can manually. I'm just using you few options covering few other options of the basic curve creation fine so that's my I'll just uh, we are just uh, from the front view because uh, my shapes are not absolutely so this is what I'm getting okay we are just the vertex according to my blueprint see the curvature of the shape even from the top I have to readjust this cool and also the the back portion the back tire fine just a bit more adjustment I think fine it's fine so you can get uh, right now the base uh, basic uh, cover structure hope you enjoying this see you in the next chapter